Good afternoon, this is an introduction to a cloud mining service called Hashnet. Um, in case you're wondering what cloud mining is, it's where you buy the hashing power of a Bitcoin or Litecoin miner rather than the actual physical miner itself. It's generally a lot cheaper to get into, but can offer lower returns as obviously you cannot sell the physical miner yourself. Um, Hashnet, obviously the name of the site there. We're going to go through it a bit at a time. This is the operator section. This is the main one on here, the one that everyone is talking about, which is called Umisu. It's basically a cloud mining. It only pays in Bitcoin at the minute. They do not do merge mining with any other coins. They do not do script mining or anything like that. Looking down here, it does tell you what fees you will be paying on your earnings. Uh, at the minute, that is 65%. Some of you might think that is quite high. However, that is due to the price of Bitcoin dropping lately. Earlier, when the value of the Bitcoin was at $500 a Bitcoin, that was at just under 40%. Validity tells you how long your purchase is valid for. If you buy a Giga Hash now, <coughs> it is valid until the fees that you are paying is the same as what that miner is actually bringing in in its earnings. At that point, they stop mining for 10 days, and obviously if the miner becomes profitable, it reopens. If not, they will close that subscription off. The, this is the current price per giga hash. The good news about this, although the fees are high, they're in line with most of the other sites, and this current giga hash price is about a third of what you pay on most other cloud mining sites. And this is the total amount of giga hashes they have left until this subscription period is over. You can also buy hashing power by specific mining rigs. For example, Ant Miner S2, S3, the Avalons, and the ASIC miners. We'll go into these and have a quick look. The Ant Miner is again a Bitcoin miner. It says it's along here where it says Bitcoin or Litecoin. It tells you, this one is a secondary market, it tells you what hashing power people are selling at the minute and what people are looking to buy at. Um, obviously if the bank you want to buy at matches what someone wants to sell at, that becomes yours. Um, all of the miners as well have a button down here. For example, this one says what's Ant S3. It will give you a picture of the miner, what algorithm it uses, what its hash rate is and what its current maintenance fees is. And it will also give that maintenance fee as a percentage of your earning. Again, we go down here, these are the Litecoin miners, the SF and the Thunder. Litecoin mining is something I've looked at, but I've not had a chance to get into yet. So, obviously, again, this works in Litecoin, not in Bitcoin. You do need to look at this and obviously make sure. And it will give you the fees per earning again. I'm not certain because, obviously, although I'd like to get into this, I haven't got any of these at the minute. This may be merge mining with Dogecoin. That is how most of them work, and you do have a Dogecoin wallet. Miner status. I'll show you this. There has been a slight bug with this recently. In that instead of the four tera hash, four, four tera hash, that'll be a bit low. Four thousand tera hash. It's only showing just under, um, just over two and a half. That is a bug. It has been noted in the forums. They have explained that. For example, it's saying that I'm only running at ninety-seven giga hash here, whereas I do actually have one hundred and thirteen at the minute. But I am being paid for one hundred and thirteen, not for ninety-seven. That has not dropped. The other reason I want to show you here, we have this button here: earnings per giga hash. This only works on the Umisu, and it will show you on a daily basis what you're getting per giga hash. Wallets. Obviously, most of the basic ones, we've got your balance, transactions, balance. It lists your balance not only with the Bitcoin here, Litecoin and Doge, but it also lists your balance in hashes of all the other miners down here. For example, you can see I've got 113 giga hash on Umisu. And I will show you how easy it is to increase that. Your transactions gives you your recent transaction list. Deposit, you can go into any of the coins. It will give you an address to send your coins to. And that will deposit into your wallet on this site. There's also this GigaHash Recharge. This is for if you brought a code off anyone else who is selling their GigaHash from the Umisu. They will give you a code, you put it in there, it will activate instantly as long as no one else has activated it first. Again, withdrawal. We've got all the um, different ones here, along with your Giga Hash withdrawal. You can draw Giga Hash out, they will stop mining for you. You can then sell that code. 
However, it is not regulated by themselves here. That is an off-site transaction. And I would expect you to take all the usual precautions you would for buying or selling any Bitcoin related product with that. This bit is quite handy. It's something that I don't think many other sites offer, which is a manage address. You can manage a list of your coin addresses, make a Bitcoin address, Dogecoin, Litecoin, tag it so you know it is, hit add and it will add. Obviously the site is based in China, there is still the odd button that is in Chinese. It, they do take suggestions, they sometimes give you a little reward for making suggestions on how to improve and that might be one that's worth mentioning to them. <coughs> Settings. Basic information, name, that's about it. Security settings. Login and PIN. You will need two passwords for this site. Do not make them the same. If someone gets your login password, they can log into the site, they can see your miner. If you have any Bitcoin in the wallet, they can spend it on more miner. Without that change of without that PIN, they cannot withdraw it. And it does not have to be a numeric PIN. It can be alphanumeric. It doesn't have to be four digits, you can make it any length you want. Of course, you can always set up a security question as well. Phone binding. Last time I looked, this was only valid for um, phones in China or America. They're probably looking at improving that. Google Authenticator. This is something I highly recommend. If you have an Android phone, install Google Authenticate. That will let you scan a... A uh, code on this site, it's a QR code, sorry, I couldn't remember the name for a minute there. And that will bring up another code on your phone. Once that code comes up, it changes every 20 to 30 seconds. And it will not let you withdraw without using that authenticate code. You will have to put it in each and every time. It even means if anyone gets access to your computer, they cannot at all access and withdraw your Bitcoin. Login record shows you a, a list of all the IP addresses that you have logged in from. I look down at it occasionally, you might spot one or two that's different. Have you logged in on your phone? Don't forget your 4G phone will be a different IP address. Use a friend or work computer, that will be different. However, if you know you haven't used any of those and you start spotting different IP addresses, it is time to go up here and change those passwords. We do have a community run forum. There is customer service staff on there. However, they do work in China. So don't expect them to always be on the exact second you want to ask them a question. For that sort of thing, we do have a service section here. What you can do with this, put a request in to the admin site to answer your question. Some people have been recommending writing it in English and then using Google Translate to put it into Chinese. Personally, I don't think that's going to make much difference. Google Translate can make one heck of a mash of a message, and I'm quite willing to bet that the site staff's English is a hell of a lot better than your Chinese ever will be. Unless, of course, you live over there. Um, gives you your username there, what language you want the site in, and most importantly, log out. But before we log out, I'm going to show you my wallet again. Right, let's go onto the wallet. Let's find out this balance. And I've put some in here just to show you this. As you can see, I've got 113 giga hashes with Yumisu. I'm going to show you how easy it is to increase that. Um, let's just buy one extra giga hash. Pay immediately. Buy success. Let's have a look. And it should, of course, say, yep, here we go 114. And I hope this has helped you decide on a cloud mining site. I hope this has got you interested in cloud mining or Bitcoin mining if you haven't already. What I am going to do now is pop up some coin addresses. These are donation addresses. Obviously, I like making the videos. I don't make a lot of them, but I might look at making more. And if you ever feel that I've helped you out, if I've got you interested in mining, if I've taught you something you didn't know about the mining but you've been doing it a while, then please feel free to send any donations you would like to make to those addresses. Um, they do go directly to my wallet, they don't go into any of the cloud mining sites. So, I mean, feel free to send as little as you want. I know most people will probably send nothing, but it doesn't have to really be anything. 
if it's helped, it's helped. So feel free to uh, keep sending them down, really.